So I invite you now to give up any interest in any problem you believe that you have in this moment. Whatever is appearing in this moment, accept it as a manifestation of the divine itself and therefore divine perfection. So you fight nothing, you resist nothing, you reject nothing. All that is right now is exactly as it should be. I have an invitation for you today. And it's a very radical invitation. It's an invitation to give all of your interest to one thing only. That one thing is unnameable. Any words or labels used to define it aren't it because it's something that's not a mental concept. It's not something that you learn or mentally understand. It's something you can only know through direct experience of, through sensing. It's often called God, the divine consciousness, the true self, source, unconditional love. And the way that we've been conditioned is that to get something, we have to use forms, either using thinking or action to achieve, to attain something. This is the opposite. What's required for this invitation is to give up all interest in forms. And the reason why it's a radical invitation is because for most people, their whole life is centered around interest in forms. Interest in the state of the body, interest in what the mind is saying, interest in the circumstances of life, interest in relationships, job, money. No, I'm not suggesting that you negate physical life. But what I am inviting you to is to open up to a higher intelligence and allow that intelligence to navigate physical life. And in order for it to do so, you have to get out of the way. You, here meaning the conceptual self, 
which comprises the idea that you have of who you are, identification with the body-mind structure. Now, many of you will have been spending your whole life working on the body-mind structure. Trying to fix the physical body, make it the best it can be. Trying to control and manipulate life through strategies, mental strategies. Trying to figure things out by thinking about it. Building up a, a personal sense of I by creating an idea about who you are, the good things about you and the bad things about you, and believing that's who you are. Now to allow this higher consciousness to flow through you and through your life, you have to give all that up. That's the radical invitation. That invitation can instill fear, can instill resistance. Because the very thing that is standing in the way of the divine infusing your life, your being, is the very thing that wants to be in control. The craziest part in all of this is that it does not actually exist. The ego, the conceptual self, it's nothing but imagination. Policy. And if you this if you investigate this for yourself, which I invite you to, don't just take on anything I say as a belief. Investigate for yourself, you'll discover this is the truth. This is the ultimate truth. What you'll discover is that you are not, in fact, the limited body mind structure with all of its problems and suffering, but you are the divine consciousness that you're opening to. And there is only this divine consciousness. I am it and you are it. It has a much greater capacity than your mind to solve any problems that are present in your personal life.
So I invite you now to give up any interest in any problem you believe that you have in this moment. Whatever is appearing in this moment, accept it as a manifestation of the divine itself and therefore divine perfection. So you fight nothing, you resist nothing, you reject nothing. All that is right now is exactly as it should be. Don't give interest in the experience of your body. Don't give interest in thoughts. Don't give interest in trying to fix anything. Now, if you don't give interest in any of these things, then what do you do? This is the state that is unfamiliar to many because many are constantly giving interest to these things. So if you stop, there is no doing. You're still here, not thinking, just being aware that you are. Now investigate that which is aware, the nature of it. Sense it with your whole being. There is an alive stillness that's here when you become still, when you stop. This is the divine consciousness. They still have no God. Be still and know yourself as God. All your attention is placed on and as there's still awareness right now. It is not possible for you to have any problems. Open up to it like you're allowing it to flow through your being, like you're inviting higher consciousness to infuse every cell of your being. Invite it into the mind to purify your thoughts so that your thoughts are only thoughts manifest from divine consciousness. Invite it to fill up inside your body. Without any agenda for anything to happen. Except for you to give your whole life to it, to this divinity. I give my life to you. I give everything to you. I give all the problems and challenges to you. What you want shall be. Thy will is done. I give up any fight, I give up any struggle, I give up any resistance.
And as you open to it, feel it nourishing you with its gentle peace. This is the nature of it. Feel the lightness, the tranquility, the beauty flowing through you like a stream of light, a stream of consciousness. Filling you up with divine, unconditional love. This love rejects nothing. It includes everything. If your mind tries to bring your attention back to something that needs fixing, a problem, don't give your interest to it. Don't give your attention to it. Only give your attention to this. Even if the mind's screaming, but you need to address this. Let it be as it is. If you can recognize yourself as this higher consciousness right now, if you can sense it, if you can get all your well-being, your nourishment, and your peace from this within you, then you don't need to struggle anymore, ever again. Whether you're rich or poor, you're at peace. Whether you're in relationship or not, you're at peace. Whether you're employed or unemployed, you're at peace. And you're nourished from within by the highest nourishment in existence. The one creator of all that is. And if you keep your attention here, it will create through you. It will manifest through you. So can you give your life to it? Can you give up trying to control your life, strategize your life, manipulate life? and accept whatever comes as the divine will. If you can, your life will become harmonious. The mind thinks that if it controls and strategizes and manipulates, it's going to avoid troubles and it's going to Create peace through effort. But that is the very obstacle to the peace that it seeks.
Now, this invitation is not a, a mental invitation. It's not an invitation to take on as an idea that I, conceptual me, I'm going to live in this way now and then try to live in the way that you think is the right way to live, to be spiritual or to live in a surrendered state. That's more effort. It's not that. to live moment to moment, purely being, with all your attention focused on and as this spacious awareness. This is the highest teaching that you can receive in this life. And if you apply it, I want to say religiously, but that's a funny word to use. With absolute dedication, if you give your life to it. It will bring about the end of suffering. You can live the whole rest of your life in peace, in connection with a higher consciousness in a way that your mind could never imagine. We must go beyond the mind to know it. We must give up interest in the mind. And give all your interest to this. And you can pray for it. You can ask it. Please, I'm available. I want to give my life to you, to this. I'm willing to give up everything. Show me. Show me the way. Ask it to show you the way. What is your will? What do you want from me? I'm here at your service. I'm here to live this life at the service of higher consciousness, not the service of my ego and what it wants. That's actually a lowly way to live. The highest, most divine way to live is to live in service to that which is beyond your mind. in service to God, which is not separate from you. <laughs>